That time again when princesses, ghosts, monsters, superheroes all take to the streets. While kids are in search of the best candy, parents may be worried about their kids' safety. And this morning, News 13's Sarah Yingling is breaking down some key tips to make sure your ghouls and goblins stay safe this Halloween. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Adam and Crystal. Trick-or-treating is typically a time for families to fill neighborhoods, knock on doors, and get something sweet to eat. APD says this can potentially turn dangerous if parents and kids don't follow these safety tips. The most important one might be the most obvious. Number one, crime prevention manager Steve Sink says children need to be accompanied by adults. If you personally aren't able to go out with your children, have them go out with another adult. Number two, experts say the safest place is a sponsored event like at a mall or school or a church. But if you choose to stay in a neighborhood, here's tip number three. Parents start mapping out a route that includes a start and an end time. That's something you can do today. That way, you know, if the kids don't come back at a certain time, we kind of know where to begin to look. Tips number four and five are all about the costumes. Try to stick to light colored costumes. Sink says no to mask. It can be difficult for your kids to see, especially when they're trying to make it across a busy street with cars. And this year, he's saying stay away from those clown masks that are getting a lot of national attention right now. It's got everyone's attention and it's going to cause a kind of a commotion uh, if they see people out there and it's suspicious. Sink says APD hasn't had many problems in the past. Most of the calls they do receive are in regards to suspicious homes or people and vandalism later out in the night. Crystal? Thanks so much, Sarah. Now we posted a link to these safety tips on our website. That is krqe.com or you can check out our KRQE News app. It'll be there as well.